My Hero Academia Season 2 Episode 2 finally came out and I just watched it. So we're going to be doing a review about this. Um, let's start off with the beginning. Tomura or Shigaraki, whatever his name is. We saw him in the beginning plotting something and we don't know like by like what he's actually planning to do. We just know he has something coming for us and we don't know what it is. Now even at the end of the episode, if you watch after the credits, you would have seen more to it. We would have seen um, new villains. Now I don't know who these are because I am an anime only. Um, I think we got some other names but I can't remember them by the top of my head. Um, but you guys can go search them up if you want or you guys could go and watch the, after the episode and see if they said their names. So we had a guy that looked exactly like Bakugo. If you take a look at his hair, his hairstyle is like Bakugo. And he has bruises that are on, under his eye and all around his mouth and skin. Like he's stitched up. He looks like he was injured or burned pretty bad or something like that. And we have seen his ability in season 2 I believe. Um, it was like blue flames and in the intro you see his ability as well which is pretty cool. I think um, that's it's unique. It's not it's not unique like because it's just flames but it's blue so it kind of makes it a little bit unique. Um, so in this episode they're doing the training camp as uh, it just started. Uh, the first task was to go through something called uh, the Beast Woods or something like that, right? And they got through it. They had about two hours to do it. They got into three. So I would I thought they were gonna actually do it in like less than an hour and they were gonna be oppressed, but no, they apparently went in, in three hours. Um, and they weren't so they didn't get lunch or whatever. They then they ate the next day or something like that. Um, so what they're planning to do now is train their quirks. So Bako, remember in his first time, remember in season one where he threw that ball and then he threw it so far it went 705 meters or 706 or something like that. He threw it again, so they tested his strength again. And this time he only got 709. So it wasn't that big of an improvement. I thought it was going to go way further than it did before. But it wasn't even that much of an improvement. Now, what pretty much, that's pretty much because all this time that they've been in high school, they've been improving their, uh, their mental side and their techno uh, technical side. So they're more um, advanced and they're more equipped to think. And even in the beginning when they were fighting, even the pers uh, that cat lady, I don't remember her name, even said, you guys are very quick thinkers and whatever. You guys got through it very fast and you guys were very, uh, able to make decisions really quick. Um, Koda. What are you, who, who is Koda? I don't know and nothing about him. I don't know his uh, purpose to the story. Um, we're probably gonna like Deku's probably gonna save him, like save him in a way that he doesn't view heroes in such a in such a state stain like manner. You know how stain views heroes? That's how this guy is viewing heroes. He's viewing heroes kind of in a different way, actually. Stain views all heroes, some heroes as evil, but then there is some that he views as righteous and um, worthy of being having the title hero. This kid seems to view every hero in the way that they're just. Uh, he doesn't understand them. He doesn't understand them in a way that he can't. He, he doesn't like them. What you you know what you don't know you don't like. Um. Also, what is cool I noticed uh, on the bus were they sitting in class order or were they sitting in? Because the seats they were sitting it was Deku beside Tenya, Toroku beside uh, Ayama, Bakugo beside Tokoyami, and Kirishima beside Denki. So like I'm just trying to like process why they were sitting beside each other. I could see uh, Tenya and Deku, but I can't see Todoroki and Ayama sitting beside each other. Or is that just how their seats and classes are? But I don't think they are. Um, but that's all I have to say for this review. Um, it's the one strat. This is my like second My Hero Academia video this season. So make sure to subscribe. We're doing this every week. And I'm out.